Hi, this is Mary. I'm hoping to bring you a short tutorial on how I use the new Silhouette Pick Scan Mat. Um, I'm mostly interested in using it to make cut files for stamped images, but I'm sure that there's a lot of other uses. Um, but this is the way I started with it. So I thought I'd kind of go through and show everybody how I got a cut file made. Um, first thing that you need to know is you need to have the newest upgrade version of the software, which I believe is version 3.1. I don't know, 147 or 417. Anyhow, um, Go to the Silhouette website and make sure that your software is all upgraded. And then, of course, you need the pick scan mat. Now, when you get your pick scan mat, of course, it's got a plastic covering. Take that off. And I've already put a piece of cardstock down on top. And I've stamped a couple of images from Paper Tray Ink onto my cardstock. Now, because I'm using the same camera uh, to do this video as I use to take the picture of my images, I've already gone ahead and taken the picture. Um, you will also need to calibrate your camera before you do anything else and if you need help going through that process, I do have another short YouTube video um, you can search for Silhouette Pick Scan Camera Calibration and that will walk you through the process as to how to get your camera calibrated. I calibrated just using my iPhone and so my software already has that calibration in it for that particular camera. So that's what I'm using for this video and as I said I've already gone ahead and taken a picture of this image which I'm going to give you a little preview of what that looks like. Okay, there's my image that I took. Sorry, you can see a lot of reflection of me. It's because of the lights in this room. Um, just some things to keep in mind. You want to make sure that the pick scan mat stays on a flat surface, that you have good even lighting, and that you take a picture from straight on from above the image, capturing the image and the entire pick scan mat. I made the mistake at one point trying to crop that image down to get rid of some of the table in the background, but then that threw off the calibration because the calibration for the camera has it set to a certain size and when I cropped the image that changed that size so my calibration wasn't any good and I had to redo the picture so the the short of that is take the picture don't crop down the image okay so I took the picture with my camera and I imported it into my computer saved it as a file so that I could figure out where it was later on and now let's go back to our silhouette software up here at the top, if you're not familiar with where this is, the third icon in, that's your pick scan. Do you want to click on that? And that's going to open up some options over here on the right hand side for the pick scan mat. Okay, we're going to import from file. And again, down here below that, you will see that's where the camera calibration is. I've already done mine so it lists my Apple iPhone. Okay, So we don't need to redo that. Once it's done, it's in there. Now if I was going to use a different camera, I would have to go through the calibration process again. Okay, so we're going to import, it says import pick scan image from file. That opens up files on our computer. And I'm just going to navigate to where my images. Double click that. 
it will show up on that right hand side screen and it'll say loading image and it'll say below that that the calibration is for an Apple iPhone. So that's the camera used. This process takes a couple of minutes, so be patient. It's going to take a little bit to get that image read and then put onto your working screen. So in a minute here, we're going to see my image come up on the screen. Sorry, I know this takes a little bit of time. Should be coming up any time here. It still says loading image. There we go. Okay, so it brought our image onto our the main part of our screen, and you can see the mat in the background with the registration marks. That's what we want to see. Okay. Uh, I don't get a little timer. There we go. Okay, now we want to come up here to our trace window, select that button. It says trace and we want to select the trace area. We're going to go around these images and you'll see that they turn yellow. Back over here I'm going to click off the high pass filter and I'm actually going to tweak the threshold up just a little bit. I just want to make sure that that yellow outlined edge is nice and solid. If you go too far suddenly your whole image will become yellow all over. Okay, let's zoom in and take a look. We've got a nice, clean, yellow line. Okay. And then once we have that outlined, in order to keep the detail, because I've already stamped this image, I just want to hit Trace Outer Edge. Okay, now come back over here. Now our outside line has turned red. If you move that, you can see I'm going to wind up with just the outside edge of these images. Alright, let's put that back. That's going to go back. Okay, so we've got that all set. Now we want to click our Send a Silhouette button. It says it's syncing and my Cameo is ready. But before I start, I want to adjust my cut settings way down here at the bottom. I want to make sure that I've chosen cardstock. And just to make sure I have it on the cut settings that I want, when you click the plus sign, you get all of this um, like you had in the previous version where you can change uh, what your blade is set to, the speed, the thickness, and so on. Okay, so I have everything the way I want it over there and I'm going to load my mat. Okay, now there's a little bit of a trick to this. It took me a while to figure this out. And I only actually figured it out because I had help from Silhouette. Where you see these little gray lines down here on your um, machine, this small one way over here to the left, you have to make sure that you don't cover over that. That has to be exposed. Otherwise your registration marks aren't going to wind up where they're supposed to be. Okay, so you can go kind of, kind of over close to it, but you don't want to cover it. All right, so we're going to put that there, and we're going to load our map. Okay, so that line is still exposed, and we've got 
our mat inside. Now we're going to come back over here. We're going to hit send to silhouette. And it's going to say that it's registering. Sorry if that's a little bit hard to see. If the machine fails to get all of the registration marks, it will tell you. It'll say registration failed and you'll need to redo it. If it reads the registration marks correctly, it's going to go right into cutting. So it's going to cut our three images. And while it's doing that, one of the things that you can do, and I did on another uh, cut, is I actually, once I had my images outlined, I replicated those cut lines and put them a few more times you know, up and down on the screen to fill out the cardstock so that I would wind up with one set that was already stamped and a couple of sets that were blank that I could stamp later on. I can just hold on to those little die cuts and use them later on. Okay, so our machine is done. Unload the mat. Bring it over. You can also, I'm sorry, I'm a little off here. You can also add an offset if you want to have more of like a white border. Sorry, it's hard to do one-handed. You want to have a little bit more of a white border around your images. I did not do that on this one, but actually it probably is helpful because if you go to stamp later on, it might be a little tricky. All right, I'm going to close down the computer for a minute. So I have a working surface, and I'm going to take my images off. We've got one leaf. There's our second leaf. See how that cut? I mean, it cuts really nicely. If you can see that, it is right along the edge. And then, finally, my squirrel, which looks like he lost just a little tiny, tiny bit of the tip of one ear, but that's okay. If I had done the offset, it would have given him a little bit of a border, and he wouldn't have lost that little teeny part right there, but that's okay. So there's a squirrel. You can see, again, it cuts really close to the edges. Does a nice clean job. Here are um, the images I did previously. I did this flower. And again, no offset. It cut right around the edge. And this one. Pretty clean. And then I also made um, just some blanks. I had replicated that uh, trace, made some blanks of one image and some blanks of another so that the next time I want a die cut of those images, I can just stamp right on the blanks. Okay, so I think that's all there is to it. Hopefully that will inspire you to give it a shot. I have not tried the print and cut function. Um, I never really used that much with the silhouette before. So um, I might play with that later and maybe there will be a third video. Meanwhile, hopefully you get inspired and start to use your PicScan mat. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.